Edo Council of Chiefs, Bagura Belkuta, heartily congratulates Chief Olusha Gwanimashan and his dear wife, Chief Mrs. Olushola Nimashan, on their installation as Osi Edo and Erelu Iyaiwe Edo, respectively, by His Royal Majesty Oba Dr. Sabure Babajide Ishola Bakre, Jamolu II, the Agura of Bagura, coming up tomorrow, Thursday, 19th May 2022, at 11 a.m. We sincerely appreciate our KBAC for bestowing this honor on our brother. Oya Mori. Announcer, Chief Ayodele Koleade, Balogun Dugbagura, Abeokuta. A great day dawns for Egbagbagura, one of the five sections of Egbaland. Ruled over, by His Royal Highness Oba Saburi Babajide Bakri, the ninth Agura of Bagura land. He arrives at the palace for the business of the day and is greeted by his waiting subjects and well wishers. Incoming high chiefs wait in an ante room for the summons by Kabizi. As their glamorous guests and VIPs continue to arrive. So the ceremony begins.
High Chief Olushegun Anima Shaun. Ah, it's, it's a well deserved chieftaincy title. And you must come from a very good family, which he came from. You must be an honest person, good person. He has done a lot. He has done a lot. And it's well deserved. He deserves it. He even deserves more. Because I'm very sure that he's going to perform. He's going to do well for Bagura. A very nice man, very godly, and somebody who fears God. And once you fear God, ah, you should, you, it means you are trustworthy. So he's a fantastic man. Fantastic, I repeat, very fantastic man. Thank you very much. I'm Alaji Olawali Animasan. I'm the junior brother of the celebrant. Uh, we are from the same father and the same mother. The Warefa, the Warefa means the king maker. The people who are together with the king to make decisions in the community. It's the OC. That's the left to the king. Yes, left in command to the king. The affairs is not too much. It's not much. What is there is that uh, there's a one prover. Only a deca shape, you know, shape, only the bush. The uncle was a bar, brother, was a bar, don't say she, you call no bar or she, no bar say she, you call she bar or she, kill you three to bar, only to share, kill our assets, cause not in law, kill no one gone, call it doom, call no day, call it to my advice. I'm very grateful because the great opportunity to our family, as an animation family, as a whole, 
It's very important to our family because uh, our forefathers has been has been doing it for long. So the advice I can give to my dad that is to be honest to the uh, Bagura Ido community. When you are recognized in your community, definitely you will be bestowed with a title. And commonly in Abeokota here, for anybody that is very much important, who has been contributing to the development of the community, they will always honor him with title. So that is why I know he is prepared to empower the youth of the area. Not only that, to cooperate with our Oba here to see to the development and the peaceful reigning of the Oba of this area. The importance is great because the title is getting today is ancestral. It's not a honorary title. So, is coming to the root. You cannot, you cannot, it's not for sale. You cannot bring money to buy the title. You have to be part of Agura. So, so the title is ancestral. It is root, or rather it is rooted. You know, so, and it just within, there are traditional attachments to every traditional title, you know, this role is that he has to climb the ladder, God, God preserve him, if he's old enough, he can become the Agora, <laughs> so God willing, so that is the importance, you know, it's not honorary. It's a very high ranking agency title, and uh, it's one of the warriors, one of the kingmakers. So, and it's supposed to be actively involved in the social economic development of Idoland and Bagura at large. I'm fully aware of his pedigree, his character, and uh, I know that uh, he, will, he will perform. The only advice that we will just give him for him to sustain his pedigree, he should, he should, he should endeavor to be around and always perform, at least as far as the development of Bagura land is concerned. But I have no doubt in my mind that he will. This chief, uh, chief dynasty title means a lot to me. I'm very, very happy having this through my husband because I'm not from this here, uh, Abelkota, I'm from Egypt. But for them giving me this opportunity to have this great title, I'm so happy. They gave me a, they gave me a real year away, which means I'm the mother of the youth. So I have to be amongst the youth, behaving like the youth, and carry them, carrying them along, and um, putting them in the right path anyway, just for them to be in a good um, position in the youth community. Chief Olusegun Grand Marshal, very simple man, and having a long ambition to help and support these people. We are from aristocratic family. And uh, this is what we inherited from our fathers. My, my father was Balogun of Ido. My late brother, Dr. Animasha, was father of Ido. And myself now, as Osi Ido, and we belong to the Warefa, which gave us power as kingmakers and as regent when the king is not around. Osi of Ido is fourth in rank to the king and is a member of the Warefa. The Warefa, there are, the, are six Balogun. Otmu, Osi, Ekeni, Seriki, and Bada. These are the people who are the 
I can say they are, the, they are very close with the, with the upper, with the king. And we are the advisors. We, we do things together. When there's any problem with society, we settle it. If you can't settle it, then you pass it to the king. If the king can't settle it, then it has to go to court. But I hope it won't get to that stage. There are a lot of problems, land problems, marital problems, and other problems like that. We have to educate them. We have to, they don't know how to put their problems or grievances to the government. But I'm there now to carry their problems onto my own trigger and then talk to the government to do it.